I don't belong here. I'm poor. <laughs> You're penetrating me. The question I get asked the most when I come to India is, Mike, when are you going to get married? And the answer is, as long as I look like this, never. I look like if a homeless person ha had a baby with another homeless person, and then that baby had a dog, and the dog was also homeless. That's what I look like. But that's all about to change. I am gonna get groomed, and I'm not just gonna get regular groomed, I'm gonna get a fancy groomed. I'm gonna go to the best barber shop in Delhi, the best barber shop in the best city in India. They're called Truthit and Hill in a, in a very affluent area here in Delhi. So I phoned up Truthit and Hill yesterday, and I said I want a haircut and a beard trim. And they quoted me 4,000 rupees. 4,000 rupees. To put that into perspective, the, the, the daily average wage here in Delhi is 700 rupees. So that's like 721. It's like five times the daily, national, the daily average wage here in Delhi. And to put that into perspective even more, a few months ago I was in Nagaland getting a beard trim in a village on a hill in the middle of the jungle and it cost me 50 rupees. So it cost me like 1% of what this is going to cost. And considering I'm in a village on a hill surrounded by hundreds of miles of jungle, it's not that bad. Okay. Truford and Hill. This is the world's oldest barber established in London, opened up in Delhi. It looks fancy. Hi. Hi, how are you doing? How are you? I'm good, so how are you? Good, good thank you. you. I have an appointment at 11 o'clock. Yeah. Um, shall I wait here? Yeah, just sure. Let's speak. So fancy in here. Thank you so much. So nice. I'm used to getting like 50 rupee haircuts. So this is our favorite menu. Like A beverage food. menu. Okay, lovely. Um, I will take a, like a black coffee. Yeah, sure. Thank you so much. I hope my car doesn't get declined. His name is Farhan, we'll be Excellent. doing that. Thank you. So basically this is our farm station where we do all the barber services. This is where you do all the barber services, excellent. Classic haircut. The classic haircut and a beard trim. Yeah. So basically the classic haircut is for 40 minutes. Yeah. So there will be pre-post hair shampoo and haircut. When did you have your last haircut? My last haircut was like, um, maybe five weeks ago. Basically, you see how, see like how my hair is like, I'm getting old, it's so my uneven. it's uneven and also I'm getting old, so you can see how my hair's going back here due to some bad karmas in life. I just, I just want to look good, basically. Perfect. Kokomo, I love Kokomo. You're very gentle. I love it. What's your name? Farman. Farman. Nice. Farman. Farman. Nice. This is Farman. He's very gentle. There's like a point when a coffee is too hot and then it's too cold. And now it's perfect. So I've got to drink it now. Thank you. Can I ask you a question? How old is the barbershop? Do you know how old? How many years? Do you know how many years? Yes. How many kidna kidna years? Mm. 1805. 1805. 1805. In in Delhi? In Delhi or in England? Poor world. Wow. It was at this exact moment I realized there was something uncomfortably colonial about this entire situation. But I decided not to think too much about the 100 years of oppressive colonization of India by my ancestors and focus more on the nice expensive haircut. Beautiful, thank you. Yeah, it looks good, it looks nice. So I've got, obviously I'm just, what this means is I'm gonna be shaping it forward, you know? Let's do the beard. So the beard, we're gonna go Yeah. So your beer salon will be done by another barber. Oh, different barber. So, yeah. Okay, sure. So uh, he'll be doing your royal haircut today. So okay. Because, uh, that will be uh, like, uh, are you done with your head massage? Oh, yeah. Royal haircut. Oh, wow. Like, a little bit. A little bit. My Hindi is not here. And that's absolutely 
good. Really? It's really good. It's funny with when I come to places like this, like really expensive bars or really expensive restaurants or really expensive salons. I don't belong here. I'm poor. This is, I'm not joking. This is probably going to cost me about 10% of my net worth. Um, hi, how are you? Um, I don't belong here. So I'm always like, so fancy, so fancy. And they know, they know that I'm poor. Excellent. This is the almond oil. This is a, a heat pad for my back. Mmm. Almond oil. Mmm. Yeah, it's good. Massage is one of those things where like it feels like it shouldn't be good for you. But I think it is. Ooh. Hi. What is this? This is a this is a head massager. Yes. <laughs> I can't with it. This is so funny. Uh... <laughs> I think I'm gonna have to borrow this farman. I think my girlfriend would love it. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I haven't got a girlfriend. <laughs> oh, the ears! Oh, dude, farman, get your fingers out of my ears. <laughs> You're penetrating me. You're quite literally penetrating me, Farman. <laughs> oh, that's that's really nice. Uh oh, he's going for the other ear. I feel violated and I love it. <laughs> uh... Oh. <laughs> oh. You know when you have like an itch on the inside of your ear and you can't get it? This thing gets it. Yeah, I'm thinking we want to shape it. Obviously here, you can't even see my lip right now. And then um, take it down. Yeah, open lip, open lip. Take it down about 50%, half. A um, little bit longer here. It's okay? Nice. Really take care of it, Thank you so much. Thank you. Swati. Yes. You're from Delhi as well? I'm from Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand. Yeah. Very nice. Gets cold up there, right? Yes. You're from it's the mountains? Rain. It is raining. Yeah. It is raining up there. It's raining up there right yeah. now. Uh oh. Thank you, Swati. Ooh. Cover up the hair. Yes. Why? Why do we cover the hair? We just call it this product. Ah, because you. Because the oil. So you'll be washing your head at the end, so, so oil, yeah. the oil can get so Keep the oil, keep the almonds in the old hair. Yeah. Thank you. That looks good. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. Perfect, yeah. yeah, I think so. Yeah. That's nice. Thank you.
nice. Wow, <laughs> thank you guys so much. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna look at this, um, this one. Homemade? Yeah, that's 3,000, is it? 3,300 3, rupees. You look different and you look really handsome now. Do I? Thank <laughs> you. I didn't look handsome. I know I said, I, I said you made me look handsome Very again. Handsome. Yeah, I really, I, I, I want to get this. I don't know if I can justify spending 3,500 rupees on it though. That's a lot. Um, so, these are all beautiful. Light and fragrance, your life. Yeah. No, these are all lovely. Unfortunately, I'm usually the guy that gets the 300 rupee haircut, so I don't think I can afford any more of your lovely, luxury, beautiful items, but they are amazing, and this place is beautiful, and the service and the everything is, is lovely, so thank you so much. Um, can I pay, please? Thank you so much. So if you come here, if you come here to Delhi or anywhere in India, come to True Fit and Hill, they're fantastic. Thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Brother, farman, thank you. This man is a magician. This man is a magician with his <laughs> massaging hands. Beautiful, thank you guys. Can have water, sir? Lovely, thank you, bye-bye. Thank you, take care, bye. Oh, oh, right. So that's it. That's the nicest, most expensive haircut you'll get here in Delhi. Now then, the question is, was it worth it? I mean, the tip alone, I gave a 10% tip, I gave about a 700 rupee tip, which is three times the cost of what you'll get a haircut from a street barber in Delhi. So the tip was three times. Was it worth it? The service was excellent. The place was beautiful. It smelt good. Um, can you get a similar haircut and beard trim for probably not that much worse on the street in Delhi, maybe. And it's gonna cost you about 5%. Um, however, it's an experience. If you've got 50 quid to spend on a haircut, which I don't, I'm actually very, very poor, then go for it. Uh, because it's nice to treat yourself. It's nice to treat yourself to something like that. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna be eating Maggie noodles for the next month. Here's a before and after. <laughs> So that's it. I know I said in my last video that that was my last video in India, but this actually is my last video in India for the next probably six to nine months. I'll be back in November to go to Nagaland to do some very cool stuff. We've got some very cool stuff planned. If you've been watching, thank you so much. I really, truly appreciate it. I appreciate it. I, you know, there are thousands of people that watch these videos now. Uh, and that's incredible. So thank you. I truly, truly appreciate you. And we're just going to keep making more cool shit. So thanks. <laughs>